Okay, so today I am going to um, make a diaper cake. So what you're going to need is you're going to need diapers. Um, you can buy whatever diapers you want. And um, you're going to need rubber bands, diapers, some ribbon, and just some other stuff that you want to put on the, um, the cake. But first, I'm going to go ahead and start rolling the diapers and then I have a bunch of stuff that I can do for, you know, decoration. So I'm going to do that after I roll the diapers. So, I'm going to pull these diapers out. These diapers are kind of um, like an off kind of white color, but that's okay. So what you're going to do is you, you have the diaper and um, I'm going to put the camera down so you can see. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the diaper and you're going to roll the diaper from the end to the middle. And just kind of make sure it's... Um, all straight so you so that the diapers are of course still usable. Alright, so that's what it's gonna look like. You're gonna take rubber bands and you just put it around the diapers. Just kind of keep it in the middle because your ribbon is gonna hide all that. So you're gonna need um, anywhere between 60 to depending on how high you want the cake. So 60 on up diapers. So I'm going to go ahead and roll all these and then I will come back and show you how to put it together. Okay, so I have all my diapers and um, I have some diapers that don't match. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use these natural diapers and I'm going to put them in the center. And um, this is just a small cake pan around Cake. Oops. <laughs> okay. That didn't work, did it? All right. Let's redo that. Okay, so I have all my cake, um, sorry, my diapers wrapped, and I have some that are um, kind of, they don't match. So what I'm going to do, the natural ones are kind of a, um, just a, off-white kind of cream color so I'm gonna put those in the middle and what I'm doing is I'm using a small cake pan a Wilton cake pan I think it's like a six inch <clears throat> and I'm gonna put my um, this is gonna be like the core of the cake so um, there's actually here I take that back we're gonna do the top layer first and um, I'm gonna use eight diapers for the top so this kind of just helps you support, you know, kind of just holds it together. So two, four, six. I can actually get away with seven. So I'm going to just do seven. So I'm going to take my rubber band. I'm going to put it together. Again, it just kind of helps hold the diapers in place. And you kind of want to make sure that all your rubber bands are in the same, kind of in the middle of the diapers because you're... Um, your ribbon's going to cover that. So hopefully that will do it. I might have to kind of rearrange the, the rubber band some, but that's not that big of a deal. Okay, so this is going to be my top layer. I'm going to set that aside for now. I took a, um, a cake pan, a larger cake pan, and just um, traced it on a piece of cardboard, and I cut it out, and I put a, this is a piece of tissue paper, a piece of um, wrapping tissue paper, and it just says it's a boy. So... I'm going to put my, um, the bottom of my cake on here. So now I'm going to do the core of my cake for, for the bottom layer. And I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use seven of the off-white ones. Put them in here. Okay, so i got two, four, six. I actually have seven here. So I'm going to do seven. And I need a rubber band. I don't have a rubber band. I oh, okay. I do. Okay, so I'm going to put those together. This is actually kind of a tight rubber band. I probably don't need anything that tight, but again, it's okay. So I'm going to put um, 
those together and this is going to kind of be the the core of my cake so i'm going to work around this and um again just to make it easier i'm going to put in another cake pan and then i'm going to um i think i can do one more layer of the of the off-white around here so I'm going to try something different. I've seen a lot of these done um, online, but I'm going to try to make mine um, have a tear. I'm going to try to use um, bottles to make it a tear, but we'll see if that works. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and put a rubber band around here. I'm going to have to move it down once I get it out of here, but again, it just kind of helps you keep it together. And you could actually just keep adding diapers in to that particular rubber band. Okay. Alrighty. Again, you just want to kind of bring it down to the center. All right. So that's going to kind of be the core of my bottom tier. And as you can tell, it's a little bit bigger than that. So I'm going to have to make it another. I'm going to have to add another um, tier to it. I'm going to actually put this thicker rubber band around my small tier, and I'm going to take this small rubber band because it's going to um, be a little more forgiving for the bigger tier. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to um, keep adding diapers to, to this. And again, I'm just going to switch out the rubber band this rubber band's a little more has a little more given it okay so this is going to be the the bottom tier so now i'm going to start using um the colored diapers and they seem like they might be a little taller for some reason but that's okay because what i'm going to do you're not going to be able to tell so and you kind of want to make sure that all the diapers are facing in so go ahead and do that and then i'll come back okay i have my three tiers I have diapers left. Um, I might do something with that. So I put my um, diaper, the, the, the bottom layer, on um, the, the little piece of cardboard that is covered with um, the paper. So, okay, so just make sure that all your diaper um, edges are facing in so the, the um, even part is on the outside. Okay, so that, that's that. Now, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put my top, okay, so my bottom layer um, is here, it's the biggest one, and then I have my middle layer, and I'm going to put that in right in the middle, and that actually fits perfect. Okay, so I'm going to need a tighter rubber band here, or when I tie the ribbon, um, it, that should be fine. And now, for the, um, the top layer, I have my, I have my top um, layer that I did that has the eight and I put a baby bottle I stuck a baby bottle in it and I'm gonna figure out somehow to add this to my cake so that it stands like this I don't know if you can see that so I want it to stand up like that so this is actually what the cake will look like and then I have the I have some stuff I'm gonna put around it but so that's just for right now what it's going to look like. And then I'll show you when I come back and I put the ribbon. So you're going to pick whatever ribbon you want, and you're going to put the ribbon around it. Um, you can put a baby receiving blanket around it. You can put a burp um, pad for the mom that you put over your shoulder. You can put that around it. You can put all kinds of stuff um, around it to, to decorate it up, just depending. So I'm not sure if I want to hide the diapers yet or if I'm going to leave them like this because this um, friend of mine, her theme in, the, in her nursery is actually monkeys. And I don't know if you can see, but the diapers, they have monkeys on them. And they're really, really super cute. So anyways, I'll come back and show you the finished product. Okay, so I'm finished with um, my diaper cake. I don't know if you can see it very well with the lighting. Um, but anyway, so I have three tiers, and what I did was I used a um, baby receiving blanket for um, the bottom tier, 